All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I want to talk about today is how simplicity could be the key to your happiness. And I think this is something that people really need to pay attention to. And I saw a post today on LinkedIn regarding this, and it was quite funny about somebody who... uh, It was kind of just like a commercial, I guess you could say, in showing him doing all these things and how complicated, uh, actually how simple things looked in his life because of all the things he had. But then when something went haywire, how complicated all these things started to become, I guess you could say. And at the end, it is just somebody, he was trying to get into his own home. And he has all these different things regarding technology to help him with this. And then a girl just has a key and a lock and she opens her door right next to him and walks in. Kind of to show you, you know, one thing could be uh, pretty cool and pretty amazing as far as all these things being able to open electronically. It could be your garage, could be your front door, uh, all these different sensors and all these things. But in reality, sometimes when that doesn't work, what do you kind of lead, lean towards? And the reality is maybe all we do need is a key. But what I'm going to kind of get into with this podcast is... What I kind of went through, because I used to think like a lot of people that more is better. I don't care if it's possessions. I don't care if it's more meetings. I don't care if it's meeting more people. I don't care if it's networking again with more people. Uh, Just everything had to be more. I also thought the more, like kind of the more, I can't say, not confusing, but the more complicated it was. And the more I conquered it, the more I felt better about myself. But what I realized actually going through my life sometimes is the best times were when I simplified things. It also was the time where I thought clearly and when I could really just sit back and also be in the moment. And I think a lot of us, especially now I talk about a lot of my podcasts and videos, information overload, it could be online, it could be even people we're talking to, it could be work, it could be all these different types of things where now back to the pandemic, I again realized Uh, The simpler it is, at least for me, or simplifying things, the calmer I am. The more I'm kind of able to think about what I'm doing. I'm able to create more. I'm able to have discussions where before I was just, even when I was talking to somebody, it almost was like I was rambling on. I was just kind of repeating what things I heard. It could be online or what other people told me on television. Where when I simplify things again, it just gave me the time to really think things through, analyze things entirely different. But I think like a lot of us throughout our life, uh, we kind of rush through a lot of things. And that could be even a vacation. That could be at work. That could be even when you're in a relationship. You're kind of, sometimes you feel, at least I did, if I wasn't doing a ton, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't accomplishing anything. Especially when I was making like films, I guess you could say, or working when I was traveling a lot. Like if I, you know, sometimes I'm complaining I'm traveling all the time. And then when I wasn't traveling, I'm bored. I'd be like, I got to, I got to get back on the road. What the hell am I doing? I'm not accomplishing anything. Then when I'm on the road going crazy, then I'm exhausted. I'm frustrated a lot. And thank God for my girlfriend. She started to help me with my travel. Talk about, you know, simplifying things, having her help me simplify things, even using certain apps or having a, somebody just to bounce off to, even verbally, was an incredible tool. Because it wasn't just about the more I could do on the road. It wasn't like if I had to do a survey, hypothetically, and sometimes I'd be extreme and say, okay, I got to hit 105 stores in 28 days. You know, that's amazing that I kind of accomplished that. But at the same time, the toll it took on me doing that was pretty hardcore. And was it helping my health? Was it helping me physically? You know, and don't get me wrong, I do like to do certain things. I like to challenge myself. I actually, right before I, uh, the pandemic hit last year, I went and uh, they said they had like 19 Raising Cane stores. If I could go take photos very quickly for when I was on the road. And I was coming in from a blizzard. And these, or was I in Canada? I don't know, one or the other. So I ended up on the way home. They said, can you hit these quick stores? I presume they thought it would take me a few days. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get nuts here and see how many I could do in one day. So I woke up early uh, because I was on a time change too. So I was able to wake up pretty early because it was like a three-hour difference from where I was at, I think. And so I'm waking up at like, say, 6 in the morning or whatever the case may be, which uh, it's not that early when you're used to like a a three-hour time difference. So 
but I, I took off to go do what I wanted to do. I kept going. I want to see how many I could do. I ended up doing all 19 in like, I don't pull all nighters, but I want to say it was 17, 18 hours. I ended up at a 20, not a 24, uh, in an outburger at the end. I just celebrated <laughs> and I got them all the information that night and I flew out the next day. And again, that's intense. And I'm not saying that to pat myself on the back, but you know, there, there is a balance and I've come to realize this when it comes to, you can do intense things, right? You can accomplish a lot. But for me, what I, when I was traveling and doing all those raising kids, I think it was that brand, uh, it was like I knew specifically how to do it. I've been all over Arizona. I knew kind of the route I wanted to take. I knew how to do things when I got there where I wasn't cluttered and I didn't frustrate myself. I knew specifically how to do what I had to do because I've done different things related to this. I wasn't even informing the store or the restaurant that I was coming because it actually took too much time out of the day, nor did they have to even know because I've done so many, I can kind of maneuver my way and get what I need without bothering anybody. But if you're somebody in your life that's kind of finds yourself, you know, everything is just so goddamn complicated. I don't care what it is. It could be in your family environment. It could be in your relationship. It could be at work. It's on you to fix. Again, I'm not telling you to do less. You do whatever the hell you want to do. But again, simplifying things. It could be as simple as going for coffee in the morning can frustrate you. Because you may go to a certain time that you know there's going to be a long line. It could be the drive through It could be inside. Again, you know, I like drinking coffee outside. But to simplify things, maybe get a coffee machine in your home. I'm just saying, well, I like this specific coffee. I get it. But that is just an example. Even at work, a lot of things you probably do if you take a step back. You'll probably be able to pull a lot of stuff out, a lot of bullshit, a lot of nonsense that can help simplify things to make things run a lot smoother. I'm just telling you, and in life, and I really had to do these things because I'm telling you right now, I was somebody who was always so cluttered. And I really thought too, my identity was a guy who was always putting out content, especially the last 20 years. It started with film and then it went into books and then all of a sudden it went into... Um, you know, creating even websites. I've been doing that a long time and then a clothing line and then I had to just keep doing things and then it's a program and then it's a YouTube, then it's a podcast. And it's like, not, you can't just do one, Rich. You got to just keep doing them all. And, you know, I'm not saying I had to back up on them, but I did have to reach a point to say, what what is going to improve on what I'm doing and what's going to make me actually enjoy what I'm doing while I'm doing it? Because if you are somebody that makes things complicated or your life is complicated and you like chaos, that's one thing. People do like chaos. I was like one of those people. I liked chaos and then I liked nothing at times. But most of the time I was involved with chaos. And as I got older, it just got too daunting. So I just want to do a podcast on this that, you know, maybe it is time for anybody. And again, that doesn't mean do less work, do less things you want to do. But just to make sure what you're doing, you know, like you're enjoying and that there's not all this added baggage bullshit that just confuses you or takes away from the moment. And I think that happens a lot of times because a lot of things we like to do or enjoy is what I should say becomes more complicated than it's worth. And I also think we get caught in ruts thinking doing the same thing over and over again to a certain degree. Um, and making it look complicated or challenging ourselves a certain way, maybe just stepping out and saying, hey, how can I create a better way, really? And usually for me, what I would do is, again, just kind of figuring it out, taking the time, you know, not getting so caught up with the chaos. So anyways, I just want to do a quick podcast on this. Uh, get a chance, uh, check me out. I'm all over the place. Even if you Google my name, Rich Chalenza, I got a lot of different things going on. Uh, if you're listening on YouTube, um, I've definitely been, I'm shocked that that thing's still growing. I haven't been putting up a lot of videos with the exception of just my audio podcast lately, which I actually talk about a guy who kind of, I kind of backed up and was Again, taking on too much, it was at the point where I was doing uh, a lot of videos, a lot of podcasts, a lot of Zoom calls, and I just said, hey, let me go back to my roots, exactly what I'm talking about. Let me simplify this. What did I truly want to do from the beginning? And I just wanted to do an audio podcast. And sometimes people question me even now and say, Rich, you had all this momentum going with your videos and doing all these things. 
yeah, I did. And I stopped enjoying it for a while. I just felt like there was a lot of um, things going on that were taking a lot of time out of my day that I valued, I'd rather value doing other things than doing that right now. Does that mean I'm not going to, I'm going to quit doing YouTube videos? No way. I don't think so. I just did, I kind of went and did whatever I wanted to do in a, in really like two years, I thought was like a five-year plan. And again, this is me talking when things become intense. I'm a very intense person. It's all or nothing. And now I am back to trying to simplify things. And who knows? I'll probably be getting, you know, go nuts again and do a bunch of different things. But I really am trying to simplify my life, enjoy my life, especially as I get older. My daughters are older. You know, uh, I guess my stepkids, everybody, my family's getting older. And I just want to simplify things as easy as even talking on the phone to my family members, colleagues, whoever. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to have to do or be caught up doing all these added things that I don't necessarily want to do. So... And if you, my podcast is all over the place, so you could check that out if you're listening to that uh, here as well, but I'm on YouTube as well, just in case you only hear me on the podcast, or if you're only on YouTube, you may think this is just, even though it says podcast, you may think it's only on YouTube, it's not, it's all over the place. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, If you have any questions or comments, hit me up, man. Uh, All I'm trying to really do is help other people look at a different perspective on their life and actually help a lot of young guys. Uh, try to live an incredible life affordably or try to figure things out and not maybe make as many mistakes as I made in my youth. So, all right, take care.